can you be successful hunting small tracts of land? Well, I have three answers to that question with a hundred plus reasons why, and that's yes, no, and maybe. Of course, we're not gonna go into every detail of all those reasons why. And listen, this is just my opinion from my own experiences. It all boils down to what you personally call success. If you're a trophy hunter, then probably no. I'm not saying it isn't possible, but let's face it, you'd probably be better off joining a big hunt club with a lot of land or, or using an outfit. If you're the average hunter like myself, who mainly hunts for meat, but would like the largest buck possible, then yes, it can happen, but there's things to consider like track size, whether you can use a firearm or not, topography, natural food sources, activity around the, that track of land, the neighbors, the list goes on. But one thing to consider, if there's food, they will come. And if there's does, there will be bucks. The truth is you can be successful hunting a small tract of land. You just have to be aware that there's so many things in play, like I mentioned just a minute ago, it's more than likely it's going to be a, a cruising deer, cruising buck that knows where your bait is, food plot or trace minerals to draw them in. It's probably not going to hold deer, but the idea is to familiarize and occupy their time to get a shot when season comes in. It doesn't have to be hard. If you're curious, you could make a mock scrape or just simply throw out some corn or trace mineral salt, set up a trail camera to see what kind of deer you have coming through. Pretty much the same things apply for public game lands also. Do some scouting in the off season, look for deer sign, tracks, droppings, etc. These days you can do a lot of your research on your phone or laptop with uh, apps like HuntStand, OnX, etc. These will give you your property lines and let you view what's around a particular piece of game land or your private land uh, before you even put boots on the ground. I just haven't used it and there's other apps that it might even suit you better. All these pics and videos are mine from the past five to six years, even before I started this channel. Uh, I was pretty much sitting on a deer jackpot behind my house and it hadn't even crossed my mind that there were good sized deer back here until I saw a doe and a couple fawns in the backyard and it just got me curious. So I put out a trail camera and it just blew my mind that I could have been deer hunting here for years didn't realize I had that quality of deer around here. Now things have changed and property has changed hands and uh, it definitely has uh, affected the amount of deer and the quality of, of bucks that do come through here. But I still get a nice cruising buck or two coming through. Um, once in a while, it's usually, particularly late season, uh, I guess they're looking for another oh doe to breed. So, I hope this was helpful to someone and encourage you to take a different look at that small piece of land 
a little bit differently. Get outdoors, do your homework, and harvest that doe or buck this season. Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. You just don't know how much that helps the channel out. Y'all stay safe and thanks for watching.